That was Morgan. He's agreed. This is really a turning point, Nicky, isn't it? Pictures and voices moving through the air without wires. Does he really want me to swallow that? You must believe it yourself, Commodore. Why else would you be investing your money? Giving money to Tesla's like playing roulette. It's a game. I play it to amuse myself. And out of a certain curiosity, is he a lunatic or a bunkum artist? He promises miracles. We're going to see now if he can deliver them. If in a thunderstorm, the Earth is struck by lightning, the force creates concentric waves which slowly expand to circle the world until they come back to where they started. This proves to us that the Earth's crust is a conductor of electrical energy. 
Now, if we were to produce large quantities of electrical energy and if we directed it into the Earth's crust, then that energy would travel in concentric waves. There were rumors you went to Colorado Springs in order to contact Mars, is that true? It is possible for us to send out waves which can travel around the world. There are waves as well which can travel into space. How are you going to talk with them? I never intended to. However, I recorded certain electrical impulses of unknown origin, and these were repeated at constantly timed intervals. It's possible they were a kind of signal from space. And did you in turn send them a message? Ask the Martians that question. But you did send some sort of signal. A signal which might not be received for a million years. Therefore, Mr. Tesla, you do believe communication with distant worlds may someday be possible. Perhaps they've been sending us messages for ages, but we aren't aware of it. Mr. Tesla, what's that big pile of papers down there on the floor? My file on the work in Colorado Springs. Can you tell us what's in it? It's a new electrical system, completely different. As yet, it hasn't been finished. In just what way is it different? How will it affect us? Well, a great deal of it is merely guesswork, but it might have an important impact on the future. I hope it will lead to a decisive answer to the problem of energy. Good day, gentlemen. No more questions, please. I can't tell you how much it means to me that I can once again have the opportunity to see the, the greatest of the great, the genius Nikola Tesla. I'm terribly sorry, but I don't recall having met you. Mr. Tesla, my name won't mean much to you. I'm a humble follower of your work. I heard you lecture in London when I was a student. It's my greatest memory. You've been a big influence. Permit me to introduce myself, Marchese Guglielmo Marconi. Well, I'm pleased to meet you, Marchese Marconi. Absolutely not. And how may I be of service to you? Mr. Tesla, I perceive ideas which I know are true, but I can't formulate. You seem aware of such things. I think I might be of some use in the field of telecommunications. If that is what interests you, Mr. Marconi, then you have chosen wisely. Always trust your own instincts. Don't let knowledge lead you astray. It can be deceptive. Mr. Tesla, I came all the way to America to meet you. Would it be possible to come and watch you while you're working? Well, certainly. You would be very welcome. My laboratory and all of my notes are at your disposition. Thank you, Mr. Tesla. It's a great honor. Thank you, Zito. Uh, would you please look after Mr. Marconi? Whatever you say, Mr. Tesla. Let's get going. Tell me the truth, Tesla. Does anybody really understand what this is about? I certainly hope so, Commodore. Mm. I ought to. After all these years. Well, let's see. Energy. According to you, energy is the big problem of the future. A life and death problem. And what we're using now, uh, the sources of energy are not inexhaustible. And they are poisoning our planet. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. Believe me, you will. Perhaps we can survive the poison. But there will come a day when these sources of energy will dry up. And then what? The whole shebang's going to run down like a clock? Not with my project. I can give the world all the power it can use. Clean power. I was afraid of that. Afraid? Yes, I was afraid that after all this time, I was really going to begin to understand what you're talking about. But this psychic business. Pardon me, I don't understand. These weird stories about you, they keep getting into the papers like the the train wreck and this fellow, what's his name? Brown, Commodore. Yeah, how'd that one go? Uh, Mr. Tesla is supposed to have told him that he mustn't on any account take a certain train, and he didn't. The train was wrecked, and everybody on it was killed. That really happened? People say that it could have been a coincidence. Well, I don't care what it was. In the public mind, science and the supernatural don't make sure either a serious inventor or a gypsy fortune teller with a crystal ball. I don't presume to tell people's fortunes, and I am not an inventor. Then what the hell are you? I am a discoverer. Columbus. Yes, I, I guess he must have sounded quite a bit like you sometimes before his discovery. And there must have been quite a lot of Columbuses we don't know about who just sailed away into the wild blue yonder and never were heard of again. Is that where you're going to go, Tesla, to get lost in the wild blue yonder? Or 
Mars, for God's sake, you told me I could 